Shalom and welcome to Yom Tov. This is Shira is entitled. She wanted to decree or rip his or her garment when hearing about the loss of of Chaim Kanievsky Zech Tzadik Vracha or any other gadol. So it's interesting. In your day, Shemem Sev Zayin, it says that when you hear of a Rav, a great Rav passed away that can answer Allah's Shailas in all areas of Torah, which certainly was Rav Chaim, then you do Kriya. It's a simple answer. Yes, we have to do Kriya. However, the Ramah adds on that some say only do Kriya of Rav Rav Muvhak. When you have your one Rebbe, you learn for years from this Rebbe, this is your Rebbe, Rav Muvhak. So a gadol is a gadol. doesn't mean it's he's your Rebbe. So the Ramah says you don't do it. So Sfarim clearly should have to do it. However, the Chazon of Adiyah, Rav Yosef, says that even Sfarim rely on the Ramah in this area. They don't do it every time a Tamar Chacham, even a great Tamar Chacham, dies. However, there is another source in the Shulchan Aruch that talks about a gadol. Because over here in Yeridei, Yashin, Man, by Kriya, it does mention gadol is a Tamar Chacham. The idea of a gadol hador, the Ramah mentions in Yeridei, Hechot, Kavod for Tamar Chacham, which says in Reish Mem Dalit, Yud, that you have to stand even from a distance, not just Dalit Amos, even from far away distance when you see your Rav Muvak, and so to the Ramah says a Gadol Hador. So here the Ramah compares a Gadol Hador to Rav Muvak. So maybe you could say so to with Kriya. So some do want to say that. And the Minnegan, some Hasidish community, some and others, where they do Kriya of a Gadol, that's brought down. In some of the Sfarim, and others say, this and the Ramah says in your day that we in in, in Yerukra, we don't do Kriya. The bottom line is, there's a Sfar to say to do Kriya, but the Ramah does say the medic is not to, so each one has to ask his or her posik what to do. One thing no one argues that we should be in a state of mourning, a to lose such a giant of a person. Shalom.